This video will show you step by step how to create your KuCoin account, how to navigate the user interface, how to fund your account with cryptocurrency, and how to withdraw out of your account, as well as how to trade all inside of the KuCoin exchange. So if you are new to KuCoin, it is an awesome place to buy and sell cryptocurrency as there is no KYC, they have low fees, and they have a large selection of altcoins to trade. So without further ado, let's get right into the video and let the gains be with you. If you are new to crypto empire my name is connor and this is where we dominate the crypto markets so go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now if you want to dominate with us but this video is how to use qcoin so the first thing you're going to need to do is make your qcoin account so head on over to qcoin.com and you will be prompted with this page and what you're going to do is hit the sign up button in the top right corner of the screen from here, you will have the option to either sign up with your phone or email address. It doesn't matter, it is personal preference. But for this example, I will be signing up with my email. So after you put in your email, go ahead and get the code that they send you. And then you can use a referral code for a slight discount on fees. If you guys do wanna support the channel, I will leave my code down in the description below for you. From here, all you do is sign up. So after you create your account, you will be taken to the assets overview page of your KuCoin account. And now with KuCoin, you basically have four accounts, sub accounts within your one account. So the main account is where you will withdraw and deposit your cryptocurrency. The trading account is where you're going to be spot trading. Let's say you want to trade Bitcoin for Ethereum. You will need to have your Bitcoin inside of your trading account to do that. I'll show you how to do that in one second. Your futures account, if you want to be trading with leverage. And then your Pool X account, which is basically your staking investment account. If you want to stake your crypto, you would put it into your Pool X account. Head up here where it says finance, go to Pool X earn. And it would take you to the Pool X site where you could go ahead and stake your cryptocurrency. So now the first thing that you'll need to do is to fund your account with crypto. So with KuCoin, you can actually go ahead and buy cryptocurrency um, directly with your credit or debit card. However, I would recommend to send it in from crypto that you already have. It doesn't really matter, but for this video, I will be sending some in from my MetaMask wallet. So head on over here to main account. And now if you wanted to deposit Bitcoin in here, all you would do is hit BTC, type in BTC, and then go to deposit. So from this point, you'll be taken to your Bitcoin address, and they do support BTC segwitted addresses, which basically means it'll be more efficient and you pay a cheaper transaction fee. So as long as the wallet you are sending in from does support BTC segwit addresses, I would recommend to use segwit, and then hit copy, and you would go ahead and send your cryptocurrency in. But for this example, I will be sending in USDT. So I would select USDT, and I'll be sending it in on the Ethereum blockchain. So I would hit ERC20, right? And this is my address right here. So I would copy that. I would head on over to my MetaMask wallet. I would select USDT. I would send. I would paste the address there. I would put in the amount that I want to send. I would select my gas fee, hit next, and confirm that. So this is how you fund your account with cryptocurrency that you already own in a different exchange account or in your own private wallet. Again, you can buy crypto with a credit or debit card. I personally have never done that on KuCoin, so I can't offer you advice on the best method to do so. I'm not sure how the fees are, right? So I just send it in from crypto that I already own. But from here, what you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to set up two-factor authentication and a trading password. So this way you're actually able to use the exchange and buy and sell cryptocurrency. They won't let you buy or sell any crypto unless you have two-factor authentication enabled on your account. So you would come up to the main uh, tab up here with your initials of your email, and then you would hit account security. And from security settings, basically we can put in a phone number or use the Google two-factor authentication application to back up our account with two-factor authentication. So personal preference, I always do uh, Authenticator. And I use an app called Authy. I like it better than Google Authenticator because it is more secure in my opinion. So we would go ahead and send an email security verification code. Just go ahead and paste that code hit next and now from here you can take out your mobile device and set up two-factor authentication 
From here, all you do is confirm the two-factor authenticator code and your account will be set up with 2FA so you can go ahead and buy and sell your favorite cryptocurrencies or those rare altcoins that aren't available anywhere else but Qcoin. Now the last thing that we're gonna do before we go ahead and show you how to buy and sell assets is set a trading password. Now this is a six digit password and basically you're just gonna to need to input it every time you log on so that you can trade and they know it's you. So hit I understand and then basically come up with a six digit code that you will not forget. I would suggest to write it down and you now have a trading password on your account and you're ready to go. So also I will mention how you can actually transfer your assets in between your accounts. So right now this is the main account and basically we would go to the asset overview page and we would hit transfer right here. And after we hit transfer, we can transfer from the main account to the trading account, the pool X account, whatever we do like in whatever asset we want to transfer over, right? All the assets are listed here in this drop down menu. So if you want to move Bitcoin into our trading account from our main account, literally all we do is select Bitcoin, the amount of Bitcoin we want to move over and hit confirm and it would automatically transfer over to your trading account and it needs to be in your trading account to use the spot exchange here. Now that our account is funded and we have all the necessary security procedures in place, we can go ahead up here where it says markets and we can click on markets and this is going to take us to all of the available trading pairs on the Qcoin exchange. We do have the menu up here. So we're selected on BTC right now. So these are all the Bitcoin altcoin pairs. They do have a very large selection. If you wanna be trading the US dollar pairs or the USDT tether pairs, right? Because we put tether into the account, you would hit USD and then hit USDT. And this would take you to all of the tether pairs on Qcoin. And let's say you wanted to buy KCS, the native Qcoin token, you would hit KCS USDT, and it would take you to the exchange. Now, don't get confused if you were brand new. So we are now in the Qcoin spot exchange. The first thing that I'm gonna do is enter my trading password so that I can buy and sell the assets. So go ahead and put that password in. So Qcoin uses a trading view fully interactive chart. So we can draw on it, right? We can customize the color, um, we can draw trend lines, we can draw Fibonacci levels, we can do everything that we can do inside of TradingView with this fully interactive price chart. And now, right now, the candlesticks aren't actually loading for me, I'm not sure why that is. If I go ahead and hit maybe a line chart, it'll change. No, I'm not sure why it's not loading on my screen, but regardless, the chart would show up here. If you guys, it's, if it's not loading like me, you can just do your charting on TradingView. Doesn't really matter. All we really need for this is the buy and sell options down here in the bottom right. So the most important part of this entire page is down here on the bottom right where we're gonna be placing our orders. So basically, Qcoin is very nice. It has the option to do four charts all in one. So here we have KCS. If you wanna switch this one, um, we can go ahead and make this you know, Bitcoin if we want to, Bitcoin US dollar. So we do have the option to pull up four charts at once, which is very neat, or we can go ahead and just keep it at one chart. And over here, this is the order book. So basically this is telling you where people are buyers and where people are sellers, where they have their orders placed. And over here, this is all the recent trades. This is live data, trades that are taking place as we speak will show up right here so we can see all the buying and selling in real time. Now let's say we're looking at the Bitcoin chart. Price is currently $31,950. So we do have the option when we're placing orders to place either a limit order or a market order. Now, if you want to have lower fees and be a market maker, you would place a limit order. If you want your order to execute instantly at the available market price, which in this case is $31,950, you would go ahead and use a market order. A limit order, basically you can set it at any price you want. Let's say you wanna buy Bitcoin if it does drop down to $25,000. So you would put in 25 grand here. Uh, put in the amount of Bitcoin that you want to buy. Let's say you want to buy one full coin. All you would do is input these options in the field and hit buy BTC. And basically this would show up in your open order tab right here. You would see 
Bitcoin buying for $25,000 one coin. Now with a market order, if we just wanted to buy um, $5,000 worth of Bitcoin, we would put in $5,000, hit buy BTC, and basically it would show up right here in your order history and trade history. The order would be executed immediately for the current available market price. So this is how to use Qcoin from start to finish if you are brand new, how to set up your account, how to fund your account, enable all the security features and get right into trading your favorite altcoins. Qcoin is quickly gaining massive popularity as it offers low fees, no KYC and a huge selection of altcoins, much of which aren't actually available on any other exchange. So this video showed you from start to finish how to make your Qcoin account and get right into trading on the platform. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you let me know by liking the video and leaving a comment down below. And if you're new to Crypto Empire, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more informative videos such as these. And make sure you have all bell notifications turned on as well so you don't miss any future uploads. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.